Hello and welcome to the office. Today we're talking about updates. The X Hubson 2 app has an update and the Hubson Zeno Mini SE has an update. All the Hubsons have had this update and my last update I was mentioning the fact that I wasn't too happy with a few things that were in it. And uh, I may not have updated the Hubson Zeno Mini SE as regularly as I should, but I got the big one and it's all up to date as of today. But in most YouTube videos you see about reviews and updates, it's all polished and edited and point your fingers and highlights and everything is in sync and it's great and that's what it does and it's wonderful. It doesn't always work that way. So I'm gonna run my video and it's not that long, but it's not short, okay? And no matter what you try and do, something happens, okay? Something unexpected, something not proper. I didn't edit it out, I let it run, I've got timers, I, you know, showing you exactly what can happen. Disclaimer, it may not happen to you, but at some point, it's going to happen to you. Like riding a motorcycle. It's not if you're going to drop it. It's when you're going to drop it. Okay? So, things don't always go smoothly. And there's always questions that remain unanswered. So let's roll this video and leave your comments below. Again, read the description below. Because there's always some stuff I may have forgotten. Okay? Enjoy the video, slow it down, speed it up, go backwards, go forwards. It's an experience, and that's all that drones are. Roll that film. Good morning. We're here with the Hubson Zeno Mini SE. It just had an update to the firmware. Also, there's an update to the X Hubson 2 app 2.4.6, which I demonstrated in an earlier video for its lack of consistency, shall we say. So we're going to do the exact same test right here for the Mini SE. Okay. And how I'm going to do this is, I'm going to get it all set up. I'm going to start the video when I start activating the drone. So we'll know exactly how long it takes to boot up satellites. Secondly, on this update, it was a 72 megabyte update. I'll show you some slides here. When you plug it in and it says there's an update, and you activate it and you start downloading the files, a nice thing to do is to turn off your controller, turn off your drone, and wait for the download to finish. Depending on your Wi-Fi speed, will determine how long it takes to get the files. But there's no reason to burn your battery while doing it. Once you've downloaded the files and before you hit update, connect the drone again, turn it on, and start the update. Another thing with the SE during the update, and also I found on the Hubson Mini, it'll go through the process, and part way through you'll get this message that says, we're restarting your drone. Please be patient. Well, that cycle can go on for five minutes, but you have to be patient, because if it goes too long, it will say failure, and you have to turn everything off and do it again. But nine times out of ten, after three or four minutes of that on and again, off again, it will reconnect and do its process and complete the installation of the update. You just have to be patient. So we've done that with this here, okay? Now, the only thing I have not done yet is a compass calibration. But that should not interfere with the gathering of satellites, okay? So I'll put this down here, I'll 
grab the controller and we'll start timing the controller when we start the drone. Okay, we'll do the screenshot as soon as we start the drone. Within a second or two. Okay, let's get into that. Okay, here we are again. We've got the screenshot going. The drone is there. We're going to plug it in and I'll show you the timer. So this has the new update. We have the new update on the app, the 2.4.6. This is starting up. Yeah, it should come up with that, but that's okay. We'll do a quick one. And again. There we go. That's a quick one. Oh, threw my back out the other day, reaching for a pencil. So my back's a little tender. But anyway, here we have, and we're waiting for satellites. And it says right now we have eight. That's amazing. So maybe it's just the Hubson Mini. But we have eight. We have ten. That's phenomenal. So... I have an apology for Hubson and for some viewers that said they have no problem. I will agree, the Hubson Xeno Mini SE <clears throat> has acquired pretty good satellites, but we still have this weak GPS signal and we have 10 satellites. So let's go in here and let's go down and out and we get that warning. Open now. It lets us do it. So let's go up and see if we get the other warning. Ooh. I'm full stick forward and it's hardly going up at all. Hmm. The home point has been updated. Please be mindful of the new return to home point. GPS hover. Let's bring it down again for a second. Landing. Okay, put it over here. Preparing to take off. Okay. We have 10 satellites. Weak GPS signal. So let's move it around the corner to the driveway. We're not getting anything. Okay, now we're at the front and we have the Hubson Xeno Mini SE on the pad, ready to go. We're gonna start the controller. We've got it connected. When it shows us being connected, we're gonna start the drone, see if we can get more than 10 satellites, see if we can get it up in the air, okay? So we're just waiting for it to connect here. It's starting to connect. We'll wait for that icon on the top to change. There it goes. So that's started up. We can set the timer, see how long it takes. <clears throat> Excuse me, once it's connected. We don't have a connection yet. There we go. Right off the bat, we have nine satellites. Okay? Right off the bat. And that's from being over the other side as well. 
it kind of has a memory in it. So is and now it's got 10. Is it going to go into the green? That's the question. Okay. Now I've never had any problems with any craft acquiring satellites at this location. And we're waiting. The Hubson Zeno Mini SE, one of my favorite drones up until this very second. But if I can't acquire satellites, what am I going to do? Well, I have 10. I don't know how long I can leave it. Something's not right. We have satellites at 12 satellites. Let's turn this over. Now that was a long time. We've got 4K, always goes back to 4K, 30 frames per second. Let's get it up in the air. And let's go for it. Why isn't it going up? They're spinning, but it's not going up. Stopped. Ready to fly. The home point has been updated. No, Please be mindful of the new return to home point. Well, That's full throttle up. Okay. Let's make the video. That's pretty good. Hmm. Let's have a look at that histogram. Let's have a look at that histogram. Can't do it, stop. Let's have a look at the histogram. Yeah, see that? Okay, let's bring that up. Wow, that's full. That's full. Okay, let's come down on the histogram a bit. about in the middle. Okay, start that video again. Okay, let's go around. We'll head up right 26 meters. We've got to go up to about 45. It's a cloudy day. Okay, head out a little bit. A little bit windy, but not bad. Okay, do a circle and bring it back. Here it comes. Okay. Now we have 12 satellites still. Bring it down. I'm going to try an automatic takeoff again. See what happens. Okay, stop that video. It handles very well. Okay, and I must say, 
it hovers exceptionally well. It really does hover well. Okay, so let's just bring it down and land it. And it Landing. lands very smoothly, very nice. Okay, stopped. Let's turn everything off. Turn this off. USB disconnected. Back on there. Okay. Now, I'm going to keep this running, but I'm going to unplug the USB. Start the controller. Okay. Wait for my three or four seconds. Okay. Usually, I like on the SC, I like to wait probably 10 seconds or so. Plug this in. It should automatically start. There we go. I wait for the connection signal up in the top there when that turns to a bar. There we go. Start the drone. There we go. Are we going to acquire satellites? Let's see. And there we are at 11 satellites right off the bat. So that's pretty good because it's already acquired them before. But how long before we get? Now it's got 12. We should have GPS preparing to take off. What happens when I do that? The home point has been updated. Please up. be mindful of the new return to home I don't point. Know. So there's always some oddities and 95, well, let's bring this in here. Okay. 95% of the problems I find is this cable, okay? Cabling, connections. That's why I'm hopeful that Femi Pardon me, that what Femi did with the TX10 controller, Hubson's gonna do with their new controller because then it's a positive connection 100% of the time. This archaic system of having to have a $1,000 phone to fly a $300 drone, ridiculous. But you do what you do and you play within your means, okay? But. The Hudson Zeno Mini SE, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's great, no problems at all, except for this acquiring satellites. It's still very, very slow compared to all my other drones, okay? Now, the better thing about the SE over the Mini, for me, is that the Hudson Mini has a video timing sync issue. If you do a 4K video, and the video, according to your screen, is four minutes long, when you put it in the timeline, it can be as much as 30 seconds shorter, or 30 seconds longer. And the timestamp is out by an hour. So there's some little issues with the Hubson Mini that they haven't fixed, and they say that it's my problem, not theirs. But, I don't know, but the Mini SE, two thumbs up, it's great, it really is, really is. Only thing now is, what does speed limit mode mean? What does visual hover mode mean? I, I'm not quite 100% on that. If you have any ideas, let me know. I've sent all this to Hubson. Let's see what happens. They're back from holiday, so we should be getting some answers soon. Again, I can hardly wait for that controller to come. Okay? It's in development, so we have no idea. Hubson Xeno Mini SE.
pretty good. Up it goes, left down, and it comes down and you stop it. Landing. No problem. See you next time.